Hi and welcome to today's workout. We're going to be using the soft Pilates ball for our workout today and we're going to be changing the diameter of the ball by blowing more air in or taking some air out. So our very first exercise is going to be working through the back of the head so you want to just pop some air out, just a little bit of a deflate and then put the pin back in. So when you have it ready as you squeeze together you don't quite have your hands touching but there's a good space of um, air in between. So we're going to start lying down onto our back and putting the ball at the back of your head. So if you've got long hair, get it out the way and then resting your head down onto the ground. So as we do with all moves, you want to make sure that your dog is not in the way. And <laughs> so we're just going to lie with our head positioned well, our shoulders on the floor, arms resting down and feet fairly narrow. So you don't want your legs to be too wide and open. You're still looking at the alignment of the leg. So we're going to start with a little nod of your head backward and forward. And this is such a great place to be. It starts to open up a lot of um, tension areas for you and it rebalances where your head is meant to sit on your spine. So about five or six of them and then staying steady and then just doing a little turn to the left and the right. And you may notice that as you're turning your head, you're not turning all the way over and starting to grip with your neck muscles. The point is to get as relaxed as possible through the back of the head area. If you're at home enjoying this, maybe you have an animal that's coming to play with you as well. And then sitting down, my favorite one is what I call the deflator. So you push your head backward into the ball and then you let it re-inflate underneath you. And again, pushing back and bringing it forward. This one is such a great exercise for toning up the neck muscles at the front, which are often overly stretched in our forward head postures that we generally are having nowadays. And one more time like that. And already you'll start to feel a little bit more centered, grounded, and hopefully a little bit relaxed. We're gonna finish with a circular movement. So just going through all those different ranges in a nice smooth direction around. And just paying attention to if you feel any tightness or stiffness or not quite getting that circular feel through the back of the head area. And then once you've gone four or five one way, then you'll change the direction. So here we don't want to spin the head off of the body. It's just a nice circular motion, getting all the way around, feeling all those different points at the back of you. And then resting down and hopefully you'll find straight away that things like your shoulders have maybe dropped a little closer towards the floor line and the feelings around your jaw maybe have relaxed. And you could almost end the class with this, but as I said, we're starting with that one. So we're gonna take the ball away from the back of the head now. And then we're going to have to re-inflate it just a little bit more. So blowing air in. And then repositioning the ball so it's a little bit more full and we're going to place it behind the back of the shoulders so the easiest way is just to roll off to your side place it behind you somewhere between the shoulder blades and everybody's position will be slightly different but you don't want to be down towards your pelvis and you don't want to be too high up to your neck hands are always really important to hold the back of your head for support and we're going to enjoy stretching our spine over the back of the ball and then keeping the hands supporting the head as you roll your chest forward. So these first few moves of our class today are really about just opening the body up, bringing in some um, release of tension so that our muscles are ready to be used for when we add a few challenges to our sequences. So breathing, how it works for you, but most of us will feel like we're inhaling as we're going over the ball and then exhaling, feeling that lengthening through the back of the neck and coming up. Find yourself in more of a horizontal line and then we're going to do a side bend. So aiming your elbow down towards your hip on that same side, just getting a little bit of a side stretch through each part of your ribs. Making sure that you don't swing your knees or your hips with you, but just getting this upper body into the side bend. We're going to make that now into a movement of a circle. So rolling the head up to the side over the back and again around. So anywhere between three to five times, making sure that you're moving from the area where the ball is. Often we like to move from sometimes our eyes or from our head, 
reverse your direction around. And then again, noticing the two sides. Do they feel balanced? Do they feel even? Does one side feel easier to go to? Does one side feel a little bit less coordinated in your movement? And then finishing over the ball again. Maybe allow your elbows to come closer to the ground if you can get it there. So this next movement is going to be specifically if you can keep the head on the floor without feeling like your chin is being thrown up to the sky. If you can't, go and find a little pillow or a towel to put at the back of your head. But you're going to rest the head down and bring your arms into a right angle shape by your side. So keeping this position, you're going to slide your left arm up along the floor, keeping fingertips touching, but the elbow will lift away and then bringing the arm back down again. And then we do the second side, right side reaching out away from you and then bringing it up. As we do this, make sure that you're not pinching at the top of your neck. So you want to really feel like you're opening and lengthening down the side of your body all the way through towards your low back and then repeating on the other side. So now we're going to do both together at the same time. So if this is not good for you, then just continue with the single variation as we reach the arms over and drawing them back down again. And again, reaching the arms out and overhead. And the connection of your hands to the floor is really important. We don't want to stress the body out in this extension with the arms having to lift off. We're trying to do the least amount of effort and still feel superbly supported through the exercise. And then coming all the way back again, collect your head with your hands, bring yourself forward, and we're gonna pop the ball out from behind the back of the shoulders and rest your body down onto the mat. And again, you might find some cool things happening to your body position changing. Yes, hi. And then we're gonna now put the ball at the back of the pelvis. So we're going to lift the hips up and we're going to lie on top of it with the back of the hip. So this is important that it's not in your low back and it's not too far down towards your tail. So as we're here, the easiest way to know if you're in the right position or the correct position is to bring your knees up into the air. Can you stay steady? And then if you can, that's great, but then challenge yourself to bring your arms up into the air. And if you can stay steady, then you know the ball is in a really good position. If you're wobbling about and you can't bring everything up, then you need to move the ball a little. So we'll start again with feet down onto the floor. Similar to what we did with our head position, we're gonna do our pelvis. So it's a tilting backwards and forwards action, rolling the pelvis towards you and then rolling it away from you. So just be reminded that when we move through our pelvis, our spine is gonna move as well. So you'll feel a little bit of going upward and downward along the mat surface. And then we'll tilt the pelvis to the left and the right. I like to think of an image as though my pelvis was a bottle of water and I'm just pouring out into a glass next to my left hip and a glass next to my right hip. So making sure that you're not moving your knees left and right. They are moving more forward and backward and then we'll finish with a circular motion around and around we go, like we experienced with the neck, making sure that you can feel all the edges of the circle and then coming the other way around, noticing what that's like brain wise, checking in with your breathing. I noticed I just needed to adjust my head position. And once you're finished with your circles, resting the pelvis on top. So those were all of our releases through our spine from our neck down to our pelvis. And now we're gonna bring it all together again. So we're gonna bring the knees up into the air. Personally, I prefer to have my feet just drop down. That way my legs don't overwork themselves and I don't grip too much in the front of the hips. So feel free to do that too. But of course, if you wanna work that little bit more and you feel like you wanna build the strength there, then by all means, bringing the feet up is fine too. So with the legs just staying in the air, can we now send an arm all the way back behind us and bringing it down towards our side? So your aim not only is on the motion of the arm, but it's also about staying as steady as possible on top of the ball. Now remember the ball is filled with air, so you're not gonna be static and still. There's always gonna be a little bit of shift of movement going on but just feeling the muscles around your middle body between your ribs and your pelvis that are helping to keep you as steady as possible. 
All right, so moving on, same action with the arms, but now let's slide the opposite leg away from you, reaching it out and then bringing everything back. And again, stretching long and returning in. So as we move from side to side, you're thinking of keeping your body as still and as quiet as possible and just moving through the limbs and of course, challenging yourself in this variation. And we'll go one more time to even us off. Then we're gonna add in another variation. So bringing the two arms towards the ceiling, feel the shoulders settled on the ground. We're gonna flex our feet and we're gonna bring those feet back up in line with the backs of the knees. And we're gonna lower the two feet toward the floor. Remember, you don't have to touch the ground and then bringing the knees back towards you. And again, as the legs are going away, you're looking to not overly arch in your lower back. And if you feel that's happening for you and it's just a bit too stressful, then do one leg at a time instead of the two legs together. And then one more time just with this. And of course, we're going to progress the movement. And as you go down with the feet, you're going to go over with the arms, reaching back and then bringing everything to your start. And stretching arms away, legs moving down and bringing it back. We've got two more to go, keeping as steady as you can. Maybe you'll start to notice one side a little stronger than the other. I'm hearing a click in one of my hips and then bringing it all the way back in. Rest the arms, rest the feet, lift the hips and put your pelvis back onto the ground. So from here, we're gonna take the ball and just place it between our knees, keeping that space of hip distance apart. And we're gonna do everybody's favorite, the bridge. So rolling the pelvis back towards you, peeling the spine away from the mat and aiming your knees out in front. Slowly lowering down through the back bones of the body all the way until you find your pelvis settled into its neutral. And then again, rolling back, thinking of tipping warm water down the front of your body as your pelvis rolls up and then letting the water flow back down into the bowl of your pelvis as you get to the floor. So using different images are great for making your movement feel better. And it's really cool to follow along with what my images are perhaps, but maybe you've got your own image inside and you're wanting to think of that as you're moving through your spine, getting as much mobility through the spine as possible so that you can free up all those different joints. And then on our next one, we're going to stay at the top of our bridge and we're going to add a little squeeze on the ball. So from here, we're just going to squeeze and release and squeeze and release. And three, four, five, and then rolling the body down. Same movement's going to happen, but to make it a little bit more advanced, we bring the arms to the ceiling, shoulders rested on the ground, roll the pelvis up into the air, pause and add five squeezes. Four, three, two, and one, and then bringing the body back down. We'll do it again. We're gonna add on for a third variation. The squeezes are still five, but as you squeeze, the arms are gonna widen and narrow. And two, and three, keeping the pelvis up, and four, keeping the feet solid, and five, and then rolling the body all the way back down. Bring your knees towards you, keeping the ball in position. Take your hands behind the back of your head. So keeping the shoulders down for now, elbows touching the ground if they can, and start to move your legs around in a circle. So we're just gonna do three leg circles like this, letting the pelvis move as the legs are moving, and then pause and go the opposite way for three. So keeping the ribs from over and flaring at the front of you, still feeling the back ribs in contact with the mat. You're going to curl the top of the head forward, looking towards your legs, and we're going to take those knees into a circle again. As they circle around this way, they're going to come through the center, and then you're going to add the upper body rotating around in the opposite way, pausing at the start point each time so that you make this a controlled movement. You don't want to do this wild and out of control, and then pause, and then we're gonna go the opposite way with our upper body and lower body. This is not very easy, by the way, so give yourself a bit of a laugh and a little bit of a pat on the back if you're making it look good, and then pausing there and lowering the body all the way down. 
Take your hands to the backs of your legs, keeping the ball in position. Roll the top of the head forward, lowering your feet down towards the mat and then bringing your eye gaze up out in front of you. From here, we're gonna to start to tilt the pelvis backwards, holding the ball between the knees and then rolling yourself forward and bringing your spine upright again. This is the same start of a movement of a bridge where we tuck the tail under and then rolling forward and finding your spine upright again. And then one more just like this, a nice movement away from your legs and then coming back up. So we're gonna add on a little abdominal series to this. So coming down into position, make sure you're comfortable here. And we're gonna release the arms. I call this the swim series. We're going to start with a backstroke, bringing your arm around and then taking the other one back. We're just gonna do three of each variation. So circling the arm without trying to take your body backward or changing your head position. So can you just move your arm in space? From here, we're gonna take it into a breaststroke. So reaching the arms forward and open out and bringing them in. Making sure that your low back is filled up so you don't wanna feel like you have got your belly stretching out in front. And now we take it into our butterfly stroke. Over the front we go and circle both arms around. This is a lot more challenging than you think. And last one around. And then we're gonna finish the medley with our freestyle. So forward and over and forward and over. You can add a rotation to that movement just to make it a little bit more challenging and adding in some more oblique love. One more time to each side, last one. And then you're going to enjoy lying all the way down and stretch the arms out behind you. Ah, feels so good. And then bring your knees in, take a hold at the back of the legs, curl the top of the head forward and bring yourself all the way up. Well, that ends our first part of our ball series today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, just a little bit of movement is better for you than mo no movement. If you wanna continue with the series, click on the next video.